I'm Paul Robinson here in Swindon, uh, and this is a, a small tour of my Lego layout. Now, most of the trains on there are Swindon built trains originally back in, uh, you know, the 30s, 40s, and even before that, steam trains. Because real quick, for people who aren't familiar with, you know, this show is held in the Steam Museum that kind of lays out the history of how Swindon was this like real powerhouse and core of, of train building for a big part of the of England. It was indeed, and even the building that we're, that we're in was part of the, uh, the original loco workshops. What I wanted to focus on was building the trains from the town where I grew up, uh, trying to get as much detail in there as I can, uh, together with the carriages. And then once I built the trains, I needed something to run them on, because the first year I came here, it was just a static display. Um, so it's a big jump going from a static display to a, a layout this size and trying to fill it. Um, so we've got a typical Great Western station with the island platform, populated with Lego minifigures, which kids and adults, you know, they all love looking at and spotting the different figures. And then moving on beyond that, there's a the signal box and then down to the Weybridge building, which is still standing to this day. In fact, it's a local restaurant that many of us in Swindon use. Uh, so that was, yeah, that was great to model that and, and bring it to Swindon so that the locals can see. Something people at the show might recognize. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then moving around to the back of the layout, there's the beginning of the ladder yard so that the trains aren't just hidden under the desk or, you know, they're out on show. And then I had to start filling in some corners and building, you know, I want to get a bit of height in there rather than just have some flat plates everywhere. Um, so it's still a work in progress, but the kids seem to love seeing it run and I get great pleasure from, you know, interacting with people and just chatting and I just want to bring back the trains into the Lego, you know, community, just more and more of us, the more competition with, you know, who's doing great builds, then yeah, that's a good idea. And there, there's a fantastic building on the back corner there. I know it's, e it's easy to miss it, but talk a little bit more about that one because it's, it's built so beautifully. Well, that's inspired from my first visit to this show five years ago. There was uh, a guy building a, a medieval style, uh, and that was just the one memory I took away from it was how great his stuff was. So the following year, I came back with my own version, as it were, to the style of the building. It's just so higgledy-piggledy, but yeah, it's just difficult to replicate in Lego because Lego is all straight lines, and this isn't. It's just tumble down and random, and yeah. <laughs> no, it, it adds a really nice detail. So talk a little bit more about the, the train you've got running here and, and kind of what that represents, the different cars there. Well, there's a, those are coal cars that would have come from Wales for the, uh, the Great Western Railway. Uh, They've been built fairly simply, really, to keep them light so that I can run them all day without chewing through batteries. Um, so the, the details on the front, on the loco, and then on the guards van on the back. Uh, a lot of time spent on the guards van. It's, uh, yeah, built off grid, as it were. Really complicated build, but it turned out lovely. And then what are these older sets you have right here and in kind of this, this part of the display? But these older sets are from when I was a kid, so probably aged about six. Uh, so that's 46 years ago. They were my pride and joy as a young man. <laughs> yeah, luckily they turned up in my mum's loft. And yeah, but people seem to enjoy, enjoy seeing them. A lot of the old guys obviously remembering them. And people still seem to pick out there's me in the photograph and say, is that you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, good memories. That's quite the throwback there. You don't see sets that old very often on display. No, for sure. I mean, even the other Lego guys around there are like, yeah, I remember that, but no, you don't see them. They're just a classic design, really. Right, right. Timeless, timeless Lego. And then what's this very nice train we have right here? Well, this is my version of the Hogwarts, which is Alton Hall, uh, which was built in Swindon again. A more, uh, a better representation of the colour, I think. Uh, it's turned out quite well. The tender's a bit on the large side, but then that's because it's packed with power functions. Uh, that's where the, the motor for the engine is. 